So we moved from grading into standards-based grading about my third year of teaching. And so I created this spreadsheet to help me track students' progress. And as you can see, I have all the math for fifth grade standards below. And every time we'd start a new standard, I'd go there. I'd write the topic up here and the students' names over on this side. And then all I would do is type in a letter and it would change um, colors with conditional formatting. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. And then this way I could look for patterns of what are students really understanding? Where are they struggling? What do they need help with? And I could do that with all of the different standards to see where the students were at. I could also make notes, like they did not even turn this in, the student was absent, so I needed to know that I needed to meet with them. Um, and it was just really helpful in my classroom. Then last year, I made this Google form to help me track it. And all I had to do was put in the students' names on this side, and then I just marked how the students we're doing and then I could make notes. So then I could also title the assessment or the assignment. So this was number three, let's say. I could make notes that um, student five absent need to meet with them during ENI, submit, and it would keep track in a spreadsheet. So then I could see the date and this student, number one, is doing amazing. Student number two needs a little bit um, of assistance, but is almost there. Student three is almost there. And then student four and five probably need a lot of assistance. And I also use conditional formatting to help me color code those things. So the first thing um, you're gonna either wanna do is start with creating a Google form or a spreadsheet if you like option one, um, or if you prefer option two. So on the spreadsheet, I just put the assignment. And then on the rows, I put the students' names. And on the columns, I put the different categories. And then I also like the additional comments, just in case I want to make more notes. Once you have your Google form done, you can click this, and it will make a spreadsheet for you. You can also see the different bar graphs for how the students are doing, too. So once you have your Google form ready, I like to click this button up here, and I like to go to Format, Conditional Formatting, and you're gonna click Add New Rules. I have my rules set up. So once you click Add New Rules, you can, you're can you gonna have all the columns because that's what we collected. I wanna change this to Text Contains, and I would write, um, mastery and I want it to be green so I did that and so once you hit add all your masteries will turn green then you're going to create a new rule and you're going to do progressing and all of those would be yellow same thing with limited again click this little box up here add new rule you're going to click text contains where it says format cells here's where you change your colors and you would write what you want to change colors right there. Hit done, and it's going to pop up on your list. Again, do your next rule, same thing. Text contains, put the rule in there, and then you're also going to change your color, so it's a different color, done. And your sheet will start changing colors. Same thing on this one. If you did not want to do the Google form, um, and you wanted to have all your standards organized like this, you do the exact same thing. So once I put my standards in here, click here, format, conditional formatting. Um, here's where I put E, M, P, L. So these I knew what the meaning was. On the other form, I just wanted it to list out what it was because it was a Google form where I just had to click. So add new rule, text contains, anytime it sees M, it's going to turn this color. So once you have your colors, it's going to change that color and all you have to do is hit done. All right, if you have any questions, do not hesitate to ask me.